Now, if you are anything like Beauty EQ editor Trudy Brewer, sparkle is a sparkle is a permanent fixture in her beauty bag. If not, it's time to consider a sprinkle of sparkle for the festive season ahead. Welcome, Trudy. Hi. And so you're going to are you going to share what the grown up girls what well, the grown up girls guys to wearing a bit of bling? Yeah, I've always worn it, even from the eighties. Like I just haven't stopped. Well, it's <laughs> so great, and it does make you feel really special. It really does. So if you're just getting into the sparkle, where do you start? The finer the particle the more subtle it will be. Right. So that really, you know, confetti-esque looking sparkle is probably best kept, you know, for the disco floor. Mm. But so if it's fine, it looks really subtle. And I mean, I wear something sparkly with my makeup almost every day. I mean, look at that. Beautiful little touch of sparkle on the lids. Lovely. A luminous looking foundation, um, semi-matte foundation, probably luminous cheeks, and a, a matte lipstick. That's really great. I, I wear sparkle in my eyes every day in yeah, my normal life when I'm I putting know. it on myself. I love it. It's a bit of sparkle. makes you sort of feel a bit fresher and It's very and youthful, too. Mm. You know, anything that catches the light and lifts your skin is actually really youthful. So what's the most flattering shade, then? It's always gold, gold or bronze, because what it does is it actually lifts your complexion. Even if you're quite pale, wear a soft gold, and mm. it actually brings your complexion forward and makes it look quite luminous. So those other colours, you know, that there's a lot of bronze around, there's a lot of plum, there's a lot of turquoise, there's a lot of blue. You've got to be a bit more confident with those shades. Yeah. But turquoise. bronze, I mean, anyone can wear a little touch of that somewhere. I mean, these are all Instagram images. Some of them are out there a little bit in the yeah. brows. That's a real trend at the moment. I wouldn't be doing that in my brows. Well, maybe for the Christmas party. You never know. Mm. That's right. Um, even in your hair, a little bit of sparkle on your hair if you don't want to wear it on your face. I mean, that's a really good example of just a feature in a ponytail. You can get sparkles sprays in the supermarket. Oh. Just a little bit in the hair parting looks nice, that especially looks if you're a blonde and mm. you've got a bit of gold. I really or like silver that. on a brunette looks really, really pretty as well. Really nice. Hadn't even thought about that. So what about the shimmer? I mean, one thing I do notice, it does travel sometimes. I mean, how do you keep it where it's meant to be on your it face? It does. Now, in terms of like the eyeshadows, always wet the brush. Ah. Plant damp because it tends to sit if you do mm. that. Or if you're putting it on your skin, mix it a little bit with your foundation or moisturiser. That looks beautiful. And sellotape is a girl's best friend when it comes to sparkle. Use the sellotape if you get that drop down on your cheeks. Actually just sellotape it off. Huh. And then you don't wreck the rest of your makeup. That's a great beauty EQ tip right there. I know. Well, I always got sellotape. And especially that, you know, non-adhesive um, one. You know, soft, that soft, soft yeah. yeah. Just tape it off, and that actually takes it off with that. Yeah, you, you don't know, want to use the duct tape. Duct tape's not going to no, work. No, no. So what about, what about the lips? Gloss or lipstick? I mean, what should you be doing? At the moment, there's a lot of creamy, which I'm going to show you in a minute, cream lipsticks infused with glitter. Gloss is very youthful. I think... If you're going to wear glitter on your lips, just concentrate it on the bottom lip mm. because it helps to bring that forward. Um, and again, keep the glitter really tiny, you know, a tiny particle rather than a mm. big glitter particle. I mean, I just think all bets are off with glitter this season. It's everywhere. It's in every brand has got a glitter mm. offering. So it's about experimenting and have a look at Instagram. You know, there's so many inspiring images on how to wear glitter. I mean, this is a perfect example. It's really subtle, just on the bottom of the lip, you know, just a little yeah. bit. For that party season, I've got a I've got a pencil. It's like a goldy pencil, and you put two like two circles underneath sort of your cupid's bow there, and one in the then yeah. you sort of just like blend it in a bit. It just gives you a little sheen. It's quite it nice. It does, and if like if you are going out at night, you can be a lot more adventurous mm. with glitter than you would be say during the day. Mm. Although I wear it twenty four seven. So. so what's your best sparkle tip then? I think choose one feature if you're nervous. Um, nails is a really great way to add glitter to your wardrobe. Um, there's so many beautiful glitter finishes in nails. Oh, look at those. And you can just wear one beautiful nail if you like a dark I love that mani. Look, yeah. I do too, I really like that look. Um, Obviously today there's a lot of, you know, nail bars where you can go and get a beautiful nail service and there's lots of glitter that they you can dip in now and get, you know, Ooh. all sorts of colours. Um, and again, just pick one feature on your face like you would wear it on your eyes, you know, so that that really pops. Yes. Uh, the sellotape's a goodie and apl always apply it wet if you're worried about yeah. it. Traveling. You don't want to be the disco ball. No, the other, the other thing is, do the glitter, if you're wearing glitter on your eyes, do your eyes first and then put on your foundation, mm. and that mops up any excess. Excellent. Let's talk about the products. Oh, yeah, 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 let's go. Okay, so first up, let's, I mean, nails, like I said before, um, Revlon um, oh, Nail Envy. They've these. got a really lovely Christmas, couple of Christmas shades. They are called oh, Silky one, Negligé and Standing Ovation. Wow. Yeah, and just a touch of glitter, and you could just use one. Real, this brand is really good, Nail Envy. is really good if you're having a holiday from shellac. You know how can, yeah. sometimes it mm. can be quite hard on the nails. Um, 
A girl loves the eyeshadow <sighs> palette. I mean, they are all those beautiful natural tones, <gasps> and there's a little bit of glitter in there. It's the holy grail right there. This isn't is it? Urban Decay, and it's called Honey Eyeshadow Palette. And any of those lovely matte shades worn with glitter along the line, wet that, it looks amazing. Love it. Very subtle colours, so if you're a bit shy, that's a goodie. Love um, it. NARS have launched these lipsticks, and the glitter goes all the way through. Wow. Called, Can I try this on my Yeah, lips? yeah, go okay. for it. They're called Disco Dust Lipsticks. Looks so, like shoes. So, you, so this is one yeah. where you'd wear a beautiful, and it's subtle on the lip. You know, it really does just have that tiny, tiny fine glitter. Well, it's a lot more subtle than I thought it was going to be, actually. Yeah, <gasps> but it's just there. It's just enough to hit the light and make your lip bounce. And if you're wearing a bold colour and you're not used to it, something like that infused stunning. with glitter is pretty. That's stunning. Um, Hourglass make this gorgeous little gel gel cream eyeshadow and I'm actually wearing the gold one today that you can put absolutely anywhere under the eye running it along a black eyeliner is a good idea because you've got that color that deep base underneath and there are just let me check there are nine shades in that so something really subtle from the gold through that's to beautiful. the plum there's a really dark almost navy which is divine okay well that's stunning and finally and finally oh my god this is so gorgeous. which i've already had a little bit of I a know. play with to be honest so this me. i mean you'll be able to see it on you in the light is uh, like somebody said to me my granny used oh, to have one of those this is two-faced gingerbread sugar kissable body powder so you're supposed to put it where you want to be kissed and it smells like freshly baked gingerbread cookies <gasps> Oh, it and it's a beautiful. glittery bronze that you can put on your decollete or arms or legs or anywhere you want to put it. Cheeks. Gorgeous to make you all nice and shimmery for your night out. Yeah. Trudy, thank Washes you so much. Washes off the next day, so it's low commitment. That was so much fun. Now, for more from Trudy, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.